in a way, I agree. I don't think the euro or the yen or the RMB or the pound or any of these currencies is going to replace the dollar. I think gold is going to replace the dollar. I mean, the dollar replaced gold. We're just going to go back to the way it was. Economist and gold bug Peter Schiff explained that a death blow is coming for the U.S. dollar as a global reserve currency in a recent interview. Economist Peter Schiff warns death blow coming for U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar to lose reserve currency status. In his tweet, Schiff mentioned gold sold off as investors realized that the good news on hashtag inflation is actually bad, as far more improvement would be needed to get the Fed to officially pivot. But persistent inflation is actually very bullish for gold. When investors finally figure that out, gold will soar. Schiff stated that gold stocks were the new tech stocks and that Wall Street's indifference regarding these would lead to massive market capitulation. Peter Schiff on the upcoming gold bull market and Wall Street, it will be spectacular, capitulation will be epic. He believes that Wall Street has a bearish bias on gold-related stocks that will affect it in the long term. When gold prices are low, they don't want to buy gold stocks as they think gold prices will fall lower. When gold prices are high, they don't want to buy gold stocks as they expect prices to sell off. Capitulation will be epic. Regarding whether de-dollarization is happening and whether it's a real threat to the U.S. dollar's global reserve currency status, Schiff said. The only thing that's surprising about the dollar's reserve status is that it still has it. Despite everything that we've done, we still haven't lost that privilege. Therefore, proceeding further in this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button below for more recent updates about market. And in fact, the only reason that the dollar became the reserve currency was because it was not only backed by gold, but redeemable in gold. The dollar was as good as gold, right? Mm -hmm. And so, but for gold, the dollar wouldn't have been the reserve currency. And it was only the reserve currency also because we were the world's biggest creditor nation. We had the largest trade surpluses. Today, it's the opposite. World's biggest debtor nation. In fact, we owe more than all the other debtor nations of the world combined. Massive mm -hmm. trade deficit. And the dollar's backed by nothing. And we keep on printing them. We have multi-trillion dollar budget deficits as far as the eye can see completely reckless and irresponsible politicians, no discipline whatsoever, massive inflation. There's no way that the dollar could qualify for the reserve currency. I mean, if it wasn't the reserve currency now, it never would qualify. But the weaponization of the dollar has now accelerated that trend. And, you know, it, it, it's over, right? It's already happening. It's just that so many people are still blind to what's obvious. Well, I think gold is going a lot higher than $4,000. Um, and, and I think it probably needs to be a lot higher um, for there to be the type of um, economic environment that would make such a candidacy, you know, kind of feasible as a, as a reality. But if it's not me, I mean, somebody else, uh, I'm not the only one that understands this. I mean, I'm not the only free market, you know, Austrian economist out there, right? I mean, we're just in the minority, uh, but we're there, right? Mm. And so it's going to take that kind of environment, I think runaway inflation, I mean, it's just a real currency crisis and a real disaster to wake people up and to get the electorate to the point where they, 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 they recognize what needs to be changed and that just more empty promises from government. Government checks aren't going to matter if those checks don't buy anything. So some politician promises, oh, we're going to give you more money. I mean, at some point, the voters are going to realize it doesn't matter how much I have. I still can't buy anything. Volatile economic environment challenges the stability of the U.S. dollar, said Peter Schiff. That's going to really complicate things here in the U.S. because it's going to send inflation much, much higher and American standards of living much lower, he opined. Peter went on to explain how a currency crisis would impact the average American, pointing out that we enjoy a higher standard of living because of the dollar's role as the reserve currency. So Americans see their standard of living go way down. Because if the price of everything goes up, they can't afford to buy any more. So now, a lot of the things we take for granted we can no longer afford. And to the extent that we need to borrow money, we can't afford that either. So the entire economy just collapses. And that is the disaster that we are heading for. There has been plenty of speculation about de-dollarization recently. But is it a real threat or is all of the talk just hyperbole? Peter said, none of this hyperbole and all of it will come to pass. The only thing that's surprising about the dollar's reserve status is that it still has it. Despite everything we've done, we still have it. In his tweet, Peter Schiff highlighted as if foreigners didn't have enough incentives to dump their U.S. dollars, the FDIC just gave them another. Foreign customers of SVB weren't extended the same protection as domestic customers and will take heavy losses. The message to foreigners is clear. Don't bank in the U.S.
Yeah, well, the U.S. dollar has done uh, substantial damage to the global economy because it was the reserve. I mean, we have basically exported our inflation uh, all around the world, and the world has suffered from this uh, relationship. America has gained uh, at, at the expense of everybody else. And, you know, it's not that everybody has suffered equally. I think the emerging markets have, have, have borne uh, the lion's share of the burden of subsidizing uh, American profligacy. But we've basically just shot ourselves in the foot, you know, to accelerate the process by weaponizing the dollar. I think um, uh, President Biden put the nail in that coffin uh, when he put those sanctions on Russia. And so everything has now been accelerated. Um, in the long run, this is going to be good for the United States. I mean, the sooner we, you know, we, we lose this privilege, the, the quicker we can start, you know, creating a viable economy because we were going to lose it eventually. Certainly for the rest of the world, it's better, right? The, the, the sooner they can stop subsidizing America, the better, because America's loss is going to be the world's gain. When the dollar crashes, and it's, it will crash, that means other currencies are rising. Now, what does that mean? That means as Americans get poorer, everybody else gets richer. And so Americans consume less and everybody else consumes more. All the stuff that Americans used to buy will be too expensive for Americans to afford. But that stuff is still going to be here. The factories aren't going to start producing it just because Americans stop consuming it. So what's going to happen is people in other countries are going to get to buy what the Americans can no longer afford. See, they're not buying it right now because the Americans are outbidding them. So all this is going to change, and it's you know a big loss for the U.S. and a gain for the rest of the world. Well, I don't think anybody's really dumping dollars yet. I think they're slowly divesting. I don't think it's a, it's a rush for the exit yet. I think that's ultimately going to happen. And when that does happen, the dollar's exchange rate is going to be deteriorating at a far more rapid pace. I mean, so far, the decline from the peak of around 115 to where we are now, around 101, that's been very slow and steady and orderly. And I think that it will continue to be slow and steady, maybe until the dollar index gets around 80 or maybe 70. But once it cracks below that level, I expect the pace to really accelerate and potentially into a, you know, an outright crash uh, in the dollar. In a volatile economic environment, the stability of the U.S. dollar has come under scrutiny as concerns over inflationary pressures intensify. Financial experts and market analysts have sounded the alarm, pointing to a confluence of factors that could potentially undermine the value of the American currency. We are at the very beginnings of what could be a several-year cycle in gold. Peter said there is always that risk in any country that issues a fiat currency, and that risk is higher now than it's ever been. Do you agree with Peter Schiff's perspective about U.S. dollar and gold performance? Is gold going to rule again while de-dollarization is coming? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this information helpful, then like this video and subscribe to our channel. We will bring you more updates in the future.